You're goddamn right. I think Stein, the man, the myth, the legend, the 80-year-old, nearly 81-year-old man that writes all these Goosebumps books, all of them, quote-unquote, he definitely ghost-wrote fucking uh, UIGs. <laughs> I think I might have just discovered Breaking Bad for the first time. Because we got some interesting Goosebumps news announced today regarding a new Goosebumps book that is House of Shivers Book 4. Say my name. Say my motherfucking name. Exclamation point. It's like they call me the Night Howler or It's Alive, It's Alive. Now, I'm a fan of creative titles and this is definitely a step up. But what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? So this comes out March 4th, 2025, and this is no hoax. Uh, one of my discords was going on about how it might be a hoax, but of course, at the end of the day, they all agreed it wasn't. Because uh, why would this be a hoax? This has listings, I believe, on Amazon or book sites, so this is real. But I am showing the Wikipedia page because I just like the style of it. It looks better. And yes, this comes out March 4th, apparently, 2025, so roughly a year after Goblin Monday. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think the page numbers are 160, which isn't really important, but okay. Uh, it says that on one of the, the listings, but it doesn't say it on the wiki. It says to be announced. So we'll wait and see. Uh, the cover art is once again done by Robert Ball. And, yeah, it seems like I predicted the accurate time when this book would announce, because I said probably late-ish May. And, well, it's not late, but it's still in May, so I was pretty uh, almost spot on there. But, uh... We actually have a blurb for this, and it's very interesting. Something fishy is going on. You already know what this one's gonna be about. What happens when a talking fish, a runaway dog, and a herd of hog-like creatures descend on the woods behind Cody Branchman's house? An absolute nightmare. <laughs> His friend Sam wanted to stay inside and play video games all day, but Cody insisted they go wading in the creek. What starts as a fun morning in the water quickly turns into the scariest day the two friends have ever experienced. If Cody can't figure out why everything is going wrong, he's worried he won't live to swim another day. Um. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> so I'm a little sick. I've been sick for three weeks because it's an infection. What the f- And immediately, I can link this with a Goosebumps book again, like the previous ones. Only it's literally, once again, Lost Legend. This sounds like something Lost Legendy, uh, kind of Deep Trouble-like, because, you know, it's got aquatic themes. We're dealing with some fish monster, uh, talking fish, and weird hog-like creatures thrown in there, which is why it feels like a fucking Legend of the Lost Legend scariest book ever knockoff. So, yeah, this- this is gonna go in there pretty well. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm- I have little to comment on this fucking blurb. It's just so bizarre, man. I don't really know what books to link it to that aren't, of course, Legend of the Lodge Legend or, like, slightly deep trouble because there's fish. But tell me in the comments below what you think this book is linking to because if you haven't noticed, and I made a video about this, um, the House Shivers books seem to be based off older Goosebumps books or at least roughly similar to them. And that is very apparent in the first three so far. One of them isn't even out, and it sounds exactly like Diary of a Mad Mummy. This one doesn't sound really familiar, but I might be mistaken. Tell me in the comments below if this sounds very familiar to another Goosebumps book. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude this little news video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and tell me what you think about Say My Name, Say My Name. Totally, totally not a Breaking Bad reference. <sighs> what the fuck, Stein? And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Bye.